Why do headphones have better frequency response than loudspeakers? Okay, that's a good question. It comes from Michael in Sydney, Australia. What a lovely city. I've been to Sydney, the Opera House, Benelong Point. Um, you have a lovely city. It reminds me very much of San Francisco. Very hilly. <clears throat> so my question is, why do headphones have a much bigger frequency response range than speakers? For example, my headphones, which are Sennheiser HD 600, good pair, uh, have a range of 12 hertz to 40,500 hertz, while my speakers, Elax, have a range of 44 hertz 30, to 35,000 uh, hertz. Is it to do with the volume of air they have to move? Thanks, Michael. Well, yeah, in, in a sense, um, probably distance is more appropriate than volume of air, though both factor in. So imagine a headphone, you're like an inch away from your ear. So if I were to take your ELAC speakers and let's imagine that they didn't do something to roll off the bass, okay? Let's just say that your ELAC speakers were in a box and I had a, um, well, this isn't going to be a very good example because it isn't totally true. Hmm. W what I was going to say is that as we measure loudspeakers, we put them about a meter away from our microphone. That's three feet. Uh, how big's a meter? Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's quite a ways. And sound drops off pretty quick, so as we measure it, the, the sound uh, one meter away is going to be a lot different than if we put the microphone an inch away from that driver. Because that driver in your speaker is able to actually go down and reproduce I, I, one hertz, right? So you can, I mean, I can make a, a woofer move one hertz back and forth, but I can't couple that motion to do anything in the room. Okay, because the air in the room has to couple to the driver in order for me to move the air in the room. But if I put that an inch away from my speaker, if I could hear one hertz, I could actually hear it. So it's mostly to do with the distance. Now, I was also going to say that, and the reason I kind of stopped myself is because if you did put your measurement microphone one inch away from your ELAC speaker because of its box, um, and, and the, the, the boxes have a, a, a point where they will roll off the ability of the speaker to reproduce anything uh, at, depending on the size of the box, right? So it's going to be attenuated because of that box, but well, let's take a, a, an open baffled speaker. There's a better example. Then we don't have to get all my, and thank you, I make fun of you guys who, who keep me on my toes, technically speaking, um, and it's all in good fun. This, we're just trying to have a good time and learn a little something here, okay? So let's, ah, thank you for being there to correct me. Um, so I, don't, I'm, I try and stay a little ahead of the game so I don't make too many sweeping statements uh, because as my wife says, well, that's, that's a PMF. And you know what a PMF is, right? It's a Paul McGowan fact. So a Paul McGowan fact is, is one that's mostly true there's a huge element of truth in it, but then there's some things that aren't quite true. And so we don't want to take it all too literally. But, so if we have an open baffle speaker and we put a microphone one inch away from that speaker, we can measure uh, the same kind of frequency response that you're getting with your Sennheisers in a speaker, but move away some distance and you'll never get those drivers to couple the air in the room but you can in an enclosed environment inside of your, inside of your head, if, or the headphones, if you will. So that's basically why it has to do with distance and, and all of that. Hope that answers your question. Oh, we didn't say anything too wrong. <laughs> all right, I'll talk to you later. Bye.